All right, this guy over here confronting Boogie2988 on fake cancer payment. I'm going to give you my reaction to his video. Uh, for those who don't know who he is, uh, I, think he, uh, I think he knows Boogies. All right, he knows Boogie. And I think he, he, was, he was kind of friend with him for a while. I don't know if he's still friend or not. And now the thing is that he's confronting Boogie on fake cancer payment because Boogie, uh, he said in the past that he uses payment because um, he had money from a meme video he, do he did on cryptocurrency. This information being spread around right now. There are certain myths that are being pushed on you to keep you in the rat race and enslaved to certain disciplines. That everybody calls him a liar and a scammer when I don't think he did try to scam people because he was doing a video about not, uh, you know, not buying any crypto into it because um, the video was a meme video, which is blatantly obvious. There are certain myths that are being pushed on you to keep you in the rat race and enslaved to certain disciplines. Like, and if anybody would believe it was um, like serious, like I, I, it's like saying, look, I'm gonna put a donkey, all right, L listen carefully. I'm gonna put a donkey with a G string. I'm gonna be butt naked. I'm gonna say, everybody, you need to buy this cryptocurrency called donkey ass shot. It's a very good currency because, you know, blah, 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 right? So I make a parody out of it, you know, like a satire, right? And you believe that what I'm doing is true. And I'm telling you at the end of my video, don't buy that cryptocurrency because it was a fucking meme joke. It was a fucking meme joke. I'm telling you, don't fucking buy anything, right? And you still buy something. Even if it's a meme video, even if I tell you not to, right? Then after you buy it and after you lose money into it, you call me a scammer and a liar when I, was, when I told you not to do it. So I think the problem, so basically what happened is that everybody uh, is actually making this viral for nothing because people, they don't know how to read English and they don't know how to differentiate a meme video to a ser serious video. Uh, this guy thinks, he, this guy, he says that it doesn't matter if it's a meme video, it doesn't matter if it's a, a serious video, people will spend money in cryptocurrency, right? But Boogie didn't know better and he needed the money contract because it was a contract be between Boogie and another company that paid him, uh, I think they paid him uh, $5,000 upfront and $5,000 uh, one week later in order to make a meme video uh, for that company, right? And uh, Boogie accepted because he needs the money. He needs to pay a medical bill. He needs to pay his thing. I, I don't give a shit what he makes with his money. It's his fucking money and he does whatever he wants. The fuck he want to do with it. Now, here's the problem with that because this guy, for some reason, I don't know if he's a fucking inspector. I don't know if he's fucking uh, CIA. I don't know. He thinks he, I don't know. He acts like a fucking FBI and he's actually devolved. Like, I don't know. He's talking with Boogie and asking me, asking him personal question, things that he doesn't need to know. He doesn't need to know, but he needs. He wants to ask Boogie, can I have a receipt of your uh, medical bill or what is it, cancer bill payment or whatever. This is something that does is none of your fucking business. This is something that is no, nobody's fucking business. Boogie doesn't have to divulge anything. He doesn't have to divulge anything. And the fact that you ask him that question, like it's none of your fucking business. It's so none of your fucking business. And what he does is very... Um, it's very bad, guys, because you, you, he's not his father, he's not his brother, he's not his attorney. You're not a lawyer, you're not a police, you're not an inspector, you're not a, you're a fucking YouTube streamer. You don't have any author authority. So I don't know who the fuck he thinks he is, but uh, this guy, I don't know, man. Diagnosis, but a YouTuber we accused of a crypto scam just got accused of faking cancer. Bro, it's none of your goddamn business. See, that's the part where nobody understands. It's none of your fucking business. If I receive, you know, if I go to work, I get a salary, I decide to spend money in something you don't need to fucking know, do I need to get, show you a receipt? No, I don't have to. It's none of your fucking business. That's the part that people don't understand. It's none of your fucking business.
which is annoying because publicly he uses his cancer as a shield from any wrongdoing. That's none of your fucking business, buddy. In fact, when I confronted Boogie on his crypto scam, that's one of the reasons he used. I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. And more specifically, why he had to promote the coin and couldn't pay back $5,000. The money's already spent. That's it's it's at it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. I'll be honest. I have no idea if Boogie is faking cancer. I also don't understand why he wouldn't just show it if he had a diagnosis. That is none of your fucking business, bro. You're not his doctor. You're not her his father. You're not his mother. You're nobody. You're. F oh my god. Man. Oh my god. This guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Voidzilla. Who the fuck are you, man? Oh, he th look at his face. So proud. So proud of, 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 my, of putting his nose where he doesn't need to. Yet you're acting like you need to know. Who the fuck are you, bro? Holy shit. But either way, we won't know without an actual doctor. And, and who's we? Who's we? Who do you represent? Who do you represent? I'm just wondering. Who, who's we? <laughs> So I won't speculate on that, but what I can do is confront Boogie on this second claim, the cancer and medical bills, because I found out. Oh my God, that this guy, statements bro. Were false. I well, know who gives a shit, bro? That's none of your. Fu oh my God, this guy, bro. Who the fuck is he? Who? Why do you? What? Oh my God, man. I, I'm like. I've, I, you know, guys, I've never seen someone in my last 30 years of being on this planet, and I'm not 30 years old, I'm older than that. I've never seen someone so obsessed about one person. I've never seen anyone on this planet being so obsessed about Boogie. Never seen that before. This is insane. First, he's trying to get into his cryptocurrency business. Now he's trying to get into his personal life. Who the F are you, buddy? Who the F are you? Holy shit. This because Boogie gave us a timeline of when he got paid in the first place. So when were you paid the 5,000? Five days ago. Later, I verified with Boogie this payment occurred on June 19th. And when Boogie said all the money was gone on June 26th, that gives us a window of time where he should have receipts for about $5,000 of medical expenses. Boogie when I asked, agreed to share these expenses with me. And the following conclusions are based on him providing accurate records, which I know is a dubious idea. But when he shared what he had, it fell far short of even what I was expecting. He gave me two paid the 5,000. Five days ago. He said all the money was gone on June 26th. That gives us a window of time where he should have receipts for about $5,000 of oh medical my expenses. God, Boogie, this guy, asked, bro. Agreed to share these expenses with me, and the following conclusions are based on him providing accurate records, which I know is a dubious idea. But when he shared what he had, it fell far short of even what I was expecting. He gave me two receipts for the time period. Oh my God! But who the fuck? Oh God, this guy. You don't have any authority on Boogie. You are nobody. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, guys, popular streamers are funny as fuck. I'll be honest with you. They would do talk. They would hurt people. They would hurt people. They would talk about anything just to generate traffic to their channel. That is sick. You're not even... You're, you're, you're not his guardian. You're not his doctor. You're not his lawyer. You're not his accountant. You're nobody. Why the... Oh my god, this is this is atrocious, man. I'm I'm dying, man. I'm dying right now. This is atrocious, man.
This guy, bro. Who the fuck is this guy, man? Oh my One god. For $154. The other for a copay of $60. A total of $214. Oh my talk. god. So where did the rest of the money go? Oh, well, Boogie claimed that it was really intended for medical expenses after we spoke. And that when he said the money was gone, he meant it colloquially and then accused me of lying. You wait, wait. That's on June 28th. That's on June. You know what? L look at his face. Look at his face. He's laughing. He's laughing. Look, look how empathetic. Look at how empathetic he is. Boogie's hurting right now. Boogie's hurting and he's going through a lot of shit in his life. And look at his face. He's, he's laughing. He's literally laughing at Boogie. 28th. You showed me a payment for 550 on June 28th, which is after we talked, after you told me the money was all gone. Which is none of your fucking business, of course, but Mr. Nosey wants to know everything about everybody else's fucking life. Why not? Yeah! Have you never heard of the colloquialism? Yeah, that money's all gone. It's all spent. I have a specific thing I need to do with it. Have you never heard that colloquialism? You... Boogie's, hurt, Boogie's hurting right now. Holy shit. And this guy is like, he doesn't give two shit. Zero empathy. Look at that. Look how proud he is. Look how proud he is. Holy shit. Fucking Google then. It's very common. Man, this guy, see, he doesn't have any illness. He doesn't, he, he doesn't weigh 400 pounds. He did not get divorced. He doesn't have any deceased family. I don't think he does. He does not know depression. He's, he lives a perfect life. And he's using his beautiful, joyful life to hurt other people. Look at his face. Look at his face. I'm saying... I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not... I can, that, that, that's, of course, because it's none of his business. It's none of your business. And you're doing this to generate traffic to your fucking channel. You're using someone's misery in order to generate traffic to your channel. That is so low. That is so poor. That is so bad. Yo, bro, I will remember you, Voidzilla. You're bad. You're bad, buddy. You're really, really bad. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, you're really so bad. I you're have a big problem with this because looking back, you have a big problem. That's none of your fucking business. Why don't you mind? Why don't you do something? What is this video about? Let me double check his video. It's all. Is it all about Boogie? Is it all about Boogie? Let me see. Boogie over here, Boogie over here. My sister disrespect Jason Derulo. Okay, so he likes. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let me see. So he likes. Okay, he's he's the. Um, the, the, the he's the kind of guy who likes to talk about uh, celebrities, people who have a lot of subs in order to generate more subs to his channel. Because, you know, if he talks about something that is viral at the moment, he knows that people are going to sub to his channel. There you go. So he's the kind of guy who's very nosy. He's going to go get, um, you know, the most popular topic of the day, of the week, of whatever. And that's how he generate views. That's how he generate... Um, my ass off. about that too. Boogie, can you explain exactly how you started the month with $800, ended it with $5,000? Oh my god, that is none of your business. Oh my god, who the fuck is this? Oh my god. This is cyberbullying, bro. Yo, Boogie, this is cyberbullying. You can Yo, bro, this is cyber... <laughs> this is fucking harassment, bro. This is fucking harassment. Holy shit. You're saying the $5,000 you made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with it. I saved my ass off. That's right. The five thousand dollars Boogie made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with the five thousand dollars. Okay, here's the context, guys. He says it's a crypto crypto scam, but the thing is that Boogie didn't know better. All right, and because Boogie took the contract from another company, who told him to make a um a, a meme video. I'm gonna show you the meme video later. All right, it's a meme video. Look, I'm gonna show you right now, actually, if you want to. So here, this is the meme video he deleted, but he made a meme video. He was paid to do this. And you can see, I mean, I don't know what is your level of uh, lucidity, but you can tell that is a joke. It's a meme. It's a farce. It's for entertainment. And the goal in this video, because he was paid $10,000, but only half first and half later or like a week later. Anyway, so he got $5,000, but he was paid and he needs money. He needs money because he's, he's living a very, very hard life right now, right? So he wasn't sure to do it, but he did it. And the reason why he did it is because he thought that the video was that he did is to tell people not 
to buy crypto. Don't do it. It's a joke. It's a meme. Don't do it. He even wrote in his channel, like in the video where uh, that he did, I'm going to show you later, don't buy anything. Don't do it. Right. And in his mind, in his mind, he really thought that he was helping people by doing this video because it was a joke. You understand? And he was getting paid to do that. He needs the money. He doesn't live, you know, he doesn't have the luxury to have anybody else helping him. You understand? The context is that people are attacking him now by saying that you scammed us. No, he didn't scam you. He actually made a, vi a meme video, which was obvious. And he also told, told you to not purchase any crypto. He told you this is a meme video. Do not buy the crypto. I just need to do this video because I need the I need the money to pay my fucking bills. Please don't buy any crypto. He did fucking told you guys, but people they did purchase and they and they lost and now they call him a scam. It's very convenient for so many people to attack him now. Do you understand? That's why that's why this guy over here that's why this guy over here call it a scam. He said it's a scam. No, it it wasn't a scam. He told you not to do it. But you still did it. So if you don't know how to read English, if you don't know how to read English, if you don't, if you can't deduce, if you can't deduce with your own eyes that this is a fucking joke, whose fault is it? Who, who, whose fault is it? If I make a video with a pink donkey, if I have a pink donkey beside me, and I tell you, hey, I think you should, I think you should buy uh, my, uh, a pink donkey uh, uh, coin that is called pink donkey ass. And trust me, it's uh, it's it's worthwhile. And at the end of the video, I tell you, don't do this, guys. It's a meme joke. It's a very meme video. Don't buy into that that donkey coin. All right, don't do it. Don't do it. And you still do it. And you still do it. Whose fault is it? Who whose fault is it? Who do you blame? Do you blame the pink donkey? Do you blame me for telling you not to do it? Or do you really believe that the donkey ass coin is a fucking thing and you're going to purchase it to then lose it and then fucking use that as an alibi to fucking blame me for that? So the real issue, guys, is not boogie. The real issue is the people who cannot differ differentiate, uh, you know, like uh, a scam to a fucking meme video. I mean, you're if you're not smart enough, look, bro, if you're not smart enough to know that this is a fucking sausage and he's fucking playing, he's just fucking entertaining. If you're not smart enough to, to see that, I mean, you, it's, you only have yourself to blame. That's all I can tell you. ...in his bank account right now. That's there. But the, see, the, the funniest thing about this guy is that he is so obsessed. He is so obsessed about hurting him and minding his business and minding his, his nose in, in everybody else's business when it's none of your fucking business. And you know what? It makes him feel it makes him feel proud. He is proud of hurting other people. He is proud of hurting Boogie, even if he is down, falling down. He is proud of it. Look at his face. Very proud of himself. Very proud individual. He pinched his pennies. Now, when I pointed out, Boogie could have refunded the scam if he wanted to. He freaked out and told me. Okay, refunded who? See the thing about this guy? He say, "Oh, you can refund them. Refund, bro." Oh my God, what? But you don't know how much they spend. Maybe somebody spent ten dollar. Oh, you're gonna give me back ten dollar? Oh, you give me back five dollar? Oh, you're gonna give me back this and that and this and that? Like this guy is using any kind of, of. Of, of, of information to actually try to hurt Boogie as much as possible. Look at his face. He's so proud. He is so proud. Game, if he wanted to, he freaked out and told me. He's well, of course he's freaked out because he's living a hard fucking life. He's living a hard fucking life. He has bills to pay. He's he he has issue walking pieces. You fucking asshole. You're a fucking asshole, bro. I'm sorry, but you are a fucking asshole. Asshole. That's what you are. It's none of your fucking business, bro. None of your fucking business. Got a mortgage to pay, Boogie. You need. Oh my God, this guy is such a fucking evil bastard. He is so evil, bro. Holy pay shit! Pay that five thousand dollars back. You need to find a way to refund oh, people. Oh my God, who the fuck does he think he he's telling Boogie you need to refund? This guy is so fucking atrociously evil. He is so evil, guys. That is so evil. Man, if I was Boogie, I would sue him right now for harassment and publishing this, publishing this online. I would sue him right now. Oh my God, that is so evil. That is so evil. Oh my God. I do, I won't have 
It's not spent. You have five thousand dollars. No, well, I can't. I won't have mortgage. But this is totally shifting the goalposts. Remember, that is. Oh my God, it's so none of his business. Somebody, somebody, please, somebody, please shoot me already. Who the fuck did he, this guy? This guy thinks, this guy thinks he's entitled. He thinks he's entitled to to mind it, to put to to nose, to put his nose in people's business when it's none of his fucking business. Oh my god, I, man, this guy's such evil. He's so evil, bro. The reason we were told the money was at Mercy Hospital right now, that was initially. Now it's because he's got a mortgage. Bro, that's who gives a fuck, man. Who gives a. Fuck? This guy's a joke, man. Who gives a fuck, but man? But also, Boogie had showed me his income for the last month, and it looked to me like the podcast is... But he doesn't have to, you piece of shit. He doesn't have to. What makes you feel so entitled? What makes you feel so entitled to know everything about everybody's personal life? Who the fuck are you, man? And so I asked, wouldn't that money pay for your mortgage? Boogie said, this month it wouldn't because he had to go on a special trip and his co-host was withholding all the money for that month. Do you understand? You're I'm not getting a pot. Where's your podcast payment coming from? That is none of your fucking business. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a fucking asshole, bro. Holy shit. That is so evil. That is none of your fucking business. Oh my God. I'm dying here, man. Yo, man, I would have, I've, I would have striked this guy. I would have filed a, I would have filed a strike on this guy. That is, he's fucking publicly harassing Boogie. This is harassment, bro. This is fucking harassment. Holy shit! You got that on the thirtieth. I, 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 it's being fucking kept so we could go for this goddamn trip. The money's coming out of my goddamn paycheck. So you're going on a trip. Oh my god, what a yeah, fucking I evil. I to go up there to film the fucking podcast live. I told him I didn't want to. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why Boogie's actually... You know, I would have hung up right there. I would have hung up with this guy. I don't know why Boogie feel the obligation to actually tell him everything. That is that is one big mistake. Uh, he's nobody. He's not a lawyer. He's not a he, he's not his father. He's not his attorney. He's not he's not an accountant. He's not an agency. He's nobody. He's just a fucking YouTube streamer like anybody else. He doesn't have any authority. He doesn't. Bro, I don't understand why Boogie's fucking talking to him. To be honest with you. Told me the business was going to pay for it, and then he just said he's not. He's taking it out of the check. Now, later, I asked his co-host Keemstar about this, and he seemed surprised. He said the show definitely pays for Boogie's mortgage, so I was confused. Later, Boogie was confronted. Oh my god, that is so none of your business. Guys, somebody, anybody who's watching this, <laughs> somebody shoot me already, man. I'm dying because this guy is so fucking nosy. I don't know what to say. I don't know, bro. I would have so fucking strike him. I would have striking him for harassment, cyberbullying, bro. Publishing something like, oh my god, this is cyberbullying, bro. I would have so strike him. I don't know why Boogie didn't do it. I don't know, bro. On this by his co-host, and Boogie oh suggested god. maybe I edited the clip. Maybe this guy should be an inspector. Maybe you should be a police officer. Why don't you become a fucking real certified inspector instead of being a YouTube streamer acting like you're fucking entitled to do to you know to to hurt people and to you know to ask question what you shouldn't need to know because it's none of your fucking business. You should stop acting like you're entitled. I'll be honest with you. Out of context. You told him that you weren't getting paid from this show. He played the fucking recording because he recorded you. Then why? Then I understand that. Do you think people can edit things to be a little bit out of context? Well, if he wants to play that game, here's the clip where Boogie directly. What fucking game? Oh my god, this guy's so obsessed. Oh man, this is hurting me, bro. Says it. He says he's not getting paid. Boogie, you could have gotten through this month without. The crypto scam is what I'm saying. It, and I could have not paid my friend back for covering my medical bills. No, no, no. You, and I couldn't. No, listen, 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 listen. Well, I've seen your... How I, about you shut up? Let him talk. He, you've been talking the entire time. Why don't you shut up and let him talk? This guy seems... He feels like he's entitled. Look at him. He's so fucking proud, so fucking entitled, like he's his fucking mother. Look at his face. He doesn't even want to listen to what Boogie has to say. Holy shit. I've seen your bank statement, so I know. Because you're 
He's seen his bank statement. Oh my god, who the somebody please shoot me. God, this is insane. That's none of your fucking business. Oh my god. This guy is killing me, man. What a fucking idiot. I'm sorry, but this is so fucking stupid right now. Look at his. Oh my god, I can't, man. I know what's going to happen. Yes, your mortgage, right, which should have come from the podcast. What are we talking about? What is he? That is none of you. First, it was the cancer. Then it was the podcast. Then is the mortgage. Then, then he's going into everything. He's he's actually <laughs> he's digging. He's digging, digging, and digging. He really wants to. He, <laughs> somebody, anybody, man. <laughs> oh my god. Which should have come, but it should have come for the podcast. It's not. Right, because I'm not getting paid this month because I have to travel to do an on-location shoot. This guy is so manipulative. He has managed to... Oh, 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 whoa, 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 he's so manipulative. You're, you're, you're asking him, you're, you're fucking mining your nose, you're putting your nose where you don't need to. You go into his bank statement, you're asking him for receipts where, where you don't, you're not entitled, you're, you're acting like you're entitled to ask for something that does not belong to you. You don't even need to know anything of this. You don't need to, to publish these recordings, but now you're calling him manipulative. <laughs> Holy shit. The Holy from, shit. Uh, the money's at Mercy Hospital right now to... Well, I have $2,500 of medical expenses at some point in the month to, well, the reason I'm ending the month with $5,000 is because I'm such a great saver and I needed to pay my mortgage to, no, actually that mortgage was paid for too. The last point I want to address is the accusations he made against me on his show. He says he should have never taken a call with me. He says I recorded him without his consent. There you go. There you go. You recorded him without his consent. Despite me telling him up front, this was all going to be public and that I was approaching him for comment. This guy now acts like I tricked him. I should have never talked to CoffeeZilla to begin with. It was a joke, CoffeeZilla. Who told you that? Uh, oh, of course you who, fucking did. Who, who told Much you less that? a second fucking time. Then in this, by the way, CoffeeZilla records you without telling you he records you. That's Name true. a he YouTuber told, does this. He told no, me. he did in the first time, in the first time. Well, I think it's worth showing you then how he talked about me behind the scenes when he spoke with me, because it was very different to what he's saying now. Now he's saying I'm taking him out of context, that he didn't know what was going on. Here's what he was- The first call, this is what I believe happened. The first call, Boogie knew that he was uh, gonna be recorded and he knew that he's gonna publish it. But this video, this one over here, he was not expecting that he would call him again a secondary time. Saying about back this. then. Amount of integrity. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, no, no, no. That was for the first call. That was for the first call because he knew about it. But the second time, the second time that you talk, like this time over here, like this time over here where you're asking him, uh, you know, like none of your business question. This time, did you ask him consent? Did you tell him? Did you tell him the second time? Did he consent the second time? That's the question. That's the real question everybody needs to know. I was approaching him for comment. And this text, was it the first, uh, the June 20th? So that, that was the first time. That was for the first time, but not the second time. The second time that you talked to him, did he, did he give consent? June 26th, that's the first call, the last video, which he did consent. What about the second time? Did you ask him? Oh, no, 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 no. But I told him the first time, so automatically the second time I call him, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, I would assume that he understood that automatically I would record him because I told him on June 26th, right? Is th that's exactly, see, th he's a smart guy. He's a very, very smart guy. This guy now acts like I tricked him. I should have never talked to CoffeeZilla to begin with. It was a joke, CoffeeZilla. Who told you that? Uh, oh, of course you who, fucking did. Who, who Much less that? a second fucking time. Then in this, by the way, CoffeeZilla records you without telling you he records it's you. Name true. a he YouTuber told, does this. He told no, me. he did in the first time, in the first time. Well, see, I he said, see, he, he just cut, did you did you guys notice? He just cut the part where, where, uh, where Boogie was about to explain the second time. So I want to see what the second part he cut. I want to see that because he said here. Well, I...
without telling you who he records it's not name true. a youtuber does no me. he did in the first time in the first he did the first time but not the second time okay uh federal law requires at least one party taking part in the call must be notified of the recording okay so here's the wikipedia telephone calls recording laws Telephone calls recording, recording laws are legislation enacted in many jurisdictions, such as countries, state provinces, that regulates the practice of telephone recording. Call recording or monitoring is permitted or restricted with various levels of privacy protection, law enforcement requirement, anti-fraud, anti-fraud me measures, or individual party consent. Australia. Okay, so it depends where, but this is Australia, Canada. Uh, Boogie is from, I think he's from U United States, I believe. Is he from United States? Wait, let me double check. He's from United States. Yeah, he's from United States. So let me double check. Uh, United Kingdom. United States. All right. So in Radburn v. United States, the U.S. Supreme Court rule in regards to interstate for, of um, or foreign communication that the clear interference uh, is that one entitled to receive the communication may use it for its own benefit or have another use uh, use it for him. The communication itself is not privileged, and one party may not force the other to see to secrecy merely by using a telephone. It has been conceded by those who believe the conduct here violates Section 605 of the Federal Communication Act that either party may record the conversation and publish it. A federal law records that at least one party taking part in the call must be notified of the recording. 18 USC 2511 whatever call recording laws in the US state requires only one party to be aware of the recording so if you call boogie you start talking but you don't tell him hey I'm going to record this call are you okay with that if you do that then you're in the wrong you're in the wrong technically and that's for the second call while other states generally require both parties to be aware several states require that all party consents when one party wants to record a telephone conversation Telephone recording are governed by federal law and by mainly two types of state law. State that generally requires that all party consents of the recording includes California, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Hawaii. Uh, so yeah, so you have many different states over here. I don't know where uh, Boogie lives and which state. Okay, I don't know which state he is, but here you can see that these states over here, as you can see in the middle, uh, states that generally requires that all party consent to the recording includes one party consent states so alabama alaska arizona arkansas colorado georgia whatever so all these uh state over here uh only one party needs to consent but as the thing uh, on the second call with uh with boogie n nobody consent nobody probably consent because if boogie knew about it i'm pretty sure he would have refused i don't think that boogie knew about it to be honest with you so i want to see lol lol cow live i want to go to his channel i want to see what i want to see the rest of this part it's much less the second time then in this by the way coffeezilla records you without telling you he records you. Not name true. a youtuber does he listen no, he did in the first time in the first time but before you hit record tell people you're recording How did I think you make it? why did they cut they edited the second part he was about to say something important but they cut it why why so the first time he was aware, but not the second time, as you can see. And these, I don't know why they cut the uh, second part. Time. Then in this, by the way, Coffeezilla records you without telling you he records you. It's not Name true. a YouTuber he told, does. He told no, me. he did in the first time. In the first time, but with see, they they cut it. I don't know why they cut that part. That was important. Before you hit record, tell people you're recording. <laughs> That's the second time. This is what I'm assuming because uh, he was about to tell that the second time he was not aware of it. And that's the reason why they edit that part. And I don't, I'm pretty sure that's why. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why you would edit that part. Oh, I see. That's, that's the reason why <laughs> the first time he knew about it, but the second time he didn't tell him he would record. Right. And the second time he would trick him with many quest personal questions, which is none of his business. This, this is where we're getting at. See that how smart he is. See how smart he is guys. I think it's worth showing you then how he talked about me behind the scenes when he spoke with me because it was very different to what he's saying now now he's saying i'm taking him out of context that he didn't know what was going on here's what he was saying back then amount of integrity i really really appreciate it yeah that's the first call oh my god this guy's so sneaky that is so shady man what he's doing he's using everything in order to to slander fucking boogie this is the first call where where boogie agrees to have a recorded conversation he's so sh he's so sneaky bro hey no no no. i mean i mean to be honest it's i'm happy to do it 
it's something that I really like people to know ahead of time. I mean, it's not... Yeah. I, I try to play a long game with YouTube. I'm not interested in, like, a quick video. Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, I'd rather, yeah. you know, you look better yeah. and, and you get and your it, point across than... I, and it shows that you have the integrity that I believe you did. 110%. It means, it means so much. Many, many YouTubers would mm -hmm. not have done that for me. And you did, and I think that's incredible. Yeah, on the first, that's for the first call. He's a very smart guy. He's using his first call, you know, as a backup plan in order to... I, I, again, to to find a a like a, a weak spot in order to you know to defend himself from anything that Boogie says after the second call. Very sneaky, guys. That's very sneaky. Very that's that is evil. I'm telling you, that is very evil to do that because <laughs> you're just playing the audience. You're misleading the audience with two separate conversation here. Holy shit! And uh, I even. No matter what you have to say in this video, I'll never have a, a bad thing to say about you. Even on the show, I you're like even on the, the low cow podcast where my job is going to be to attack you back. I'm just not going to do it. I'm like, no, I think coffee was fair. Uh, I'll be genuine. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Of course. Yeah. All right. I really appreciate you. Thank you, man. Have a, great have a good night. Have a good night. There you go. Yeah, he's very sneaky, guys. The mortgage. So I don't know about this guy, but he's very shady, very sneaky. Uh, I understand, uh, and he's calling. And like I said, the uh, the boogie is the boogie. Uh, what is it? The the boogie situation, you know, with the scam thingy. It wasn't a, It wasn't really a scam because he actually. It was an obvious video uh, for a meme video. That, look, it's a meme video. He's actually promoting uh, a crypto coin, which is called Fatty. It's a joke. And at the end of the video, at the bottom, he's gonna tell people don't um, don't buy the crypto because it's a meme video upon which I was paid to do because I need the money, you know, in order to promote a crypto coin, which is you know which is worth nothing. Do not buy it. And people are too. They're, they're, I don't know for some reason people are they just uh, <laughs> they just fucking bought it for some reason. I have to have a perfect body, fit to stave off any attack. That's lies. This body so, wasn't by accident. So he's, as you can see, he's just acting. You know, guys, I'm a filmmaker. You know, it's it's so easy to know when somebody's acting, you know, and he's trying hard to, you know, to entertain. This body, this is what peak. And to be abundantly transparent, as this was explained to me, it's it's a meme coin. It's a joke. It's not to be taken seriously. Uh, obviously, it's a meme joke. I mean, if nobody can see that, then I don't know. It's for people that think shit like this is funny and they have money to burn. If you're not rich, then just laugh and enjoy. If you're rich and want to fuck around with your money, then do this for a laugh. You know, so he was trying to tell rich people, not like individuals like you and I, to actually spend in there, right? Spend money in there. Uh, so that's the thing. So he was not expecting this to work either. So yeah, so he did mention to not put money into this unless you have a lot of money, like a lot and you have nothing because like I said, Boogie needs money guys. He's in, he's desperate for money. All right. You need to be in his shoes to understand, uh, to understand his situation. So that's why when people tr like him who try to slander him or trying to dehumanize him or trying to hurt his, him, who trying to hurt him over and over and over. And he is so proud. He is so proud of hurting him. I don't understand what kind of human this is. And using clips here and there and recording, he recorded him the second time. He recording him the second time. Without telling, without telling Boogie he would be recorded, he told him the first time. He told him the first time. The first time was told, yes. But see, he's using uh, this argument of, oh, I told him the first call, but did you tell him the second call? No, he didn't. But then he's using this as an alibi to justify that the second call, you know, Boogie would understand that he would be recorded. No, that doesn't work that way, buddy. It doesn't work that way. You need to ask him, you need to ask the person every single fucking call, every single fucking meeting, you have to tell, I'm going to record you now. Are, do you agree with this? And you know, even better, you need to sign on a fucking paper. You understand? You need to fucking mention it, but you didn't mention it a second time. And not only you didn't mention the second time, but you also ask questions about his fucking bills. You're not his father. You're not his doctor. You're not his attorney. You're not a fucking agency. You're nobody. Not only is none of your business, you also publicize in public the second conversation, which he was not consensual about, but I can tell you this, this is very evil. It is very evil. Fucking fucking time. Then in this, by the way, Coffeezilla records you. 
without telling you he records it's not name true. a he youtuber told, does this. He told no me. he did in the first time in the see he said he did the first time but not the second time and the second time he's gonna cut they're gonna cut that part first time well i think it's worth this is so fucking evil man holy shit holy shit this guy is evil man holy shit